have this kind of setup. So an omelet egg loop with a two metre run. Some of you may have the go, um, some may have the king, and a few schools have your own hen house. But the principle of all the houses is exactly the same. These hen houses need to be cleaned out at least once a week, but if you've got any volunteers, you can clean it out as often as you'd like. As you know from when we did our training initially, they're really quick and easy to clean out, so we're going to do that now. So the first thing I'm going to do is just shut our hens in the run so they don't help, and then we're just on this hen house, we're going to take the roof off. If you've got the go or the key, you don't need to remove your roof. This is my dog, so we'll help Lulu away. I'll just take the roof off. And then we've got our nesting box and our roosting bars. In all your kits, you should have a bag of bedding, um, a spray and a powder, and most importantly, a scraper. And also something to pop your waste in. I've got a little trolley, you have a wheelbarrow, black sack, anything like that at all. Now, this can take as long as you want it to take. It's only going to take a couple of minutes for the purposes of this video. And if when you've emptied it out, you want to give it a good wash out, by all means do that. We won't be doing that today. So first things first, take your roosting bars off. These, it's almost blue peter like. Oh, beautiful. Uh, here's ones I made earlier. Lovely and clean. But if you've got any bird droppings or feathers stuck on here, I normally just scrape it all into the tray. And then if you want to give these a wash, you can do those out of the way. Next thing here with this hen house, you always get one bird that likes to do some droppings in the nesting box. So before you remove the tray, just take the contents of the nesting box out. If you've got the go, you can just whip everything out at the back. And if you've got the cube, you'll just scrape out the nesting box area. Once you've removed the roosting bars, really important just to scrape off the ledges sit on just to get off any dead skin or any droppings that are stuck there um, and it's also a really good way to check to see if there's anything living in the hen house that shouldn't be so with it being nice and mild still we still get mites so it's good to, to check all the areas in the plastic hen houses the mites like all the brews and especially this corner behind the nesting box it's nice and warm it's away from the draft and it's an easy place for our mites to set up shop with easy access to their food source. The red mite live in the hen house permanently and use the chickens almost as a delivery delivery to feast on overnight. So they're translucent when they haven't fed but they're bright red when they have. This hen house has previously had a little bit of red mite. Um, we have a little patch of it here which is dyed, which is good. You can't really see it now but there's a couple of little red mite just here by my fingernail. There's a bit of dirt there too. So red mite can lay incredibly quickly um, lay, and lay a, a large volume of eggs. So by cleaning the hen house out on a regular basis, if you find something, and it happens to all of us, you can check it and treat it quickly. So first things first, I'm just going to remove this tray. Which I put the bed in the wrong place. And then use my trusty scraper to get rid of any debris on the tray. And then if you wanted to, you can it's a nice day you can give that tray a good wash um, otherwise if you're running short on time just pop it straight back into the house and this is where you'll use your smite ready to use spray which you should all have in your kits if you run out let me know and i can send you some more and then we're just gonna spray along these ledges anywhere you've seen something that you don't like the look of and what this will do is interrupt the egg laying process of our red mite and help to get the numbers under control and if you repeat this over a period of time it will eventually get rid of them. Then what you do once you've done that is pop some bedding in. So you should all have either the easy chick or the fresh bed bedding and we just put a handful in the nesting box. A lot of chickens don't actually like a lot of things in the nesting box. We think it should be warm and fluffy and inviting, but they're not that bothered. And then sprinkle some on the tray at the bottom. Now the purpose of adding bedding to the tray has nothing to do with the chickens. It's to make our life easier so that the droppings will sit on top of the bedding. The bedding will absorb the moisture and then it's really easy to clean out. 
for the chickens, they like good ventilation around them whilst they're laying their eggs and also while they're roosting. So if you pack the bedding up too high, it means there isn't any ventilation under their roosting bars, uh, which can make them overheat, which we think that, again, they should be warm and snuggly. If they don't like being warm, it can actually cause more problems than it helps. So we just have a nice sprinkle on there. any signs of any scratching or digging. If you have some smite powder, you can pop a little bit on the nesting box, on the roosting bars. All this does is diet on earth powder. It means that the sticky substance that the mites secrete to stick their eggs onto the roosting, onto the various bits around the hen house they can't do, so a bit like a towel from powder. We'd recommend if you're doing any of the powder and the spray to wear gloves and also not to do it on a windy day, otherwise you may Our hen house is nice and clean. We're going to return the roof. And this again is really important to make sure all of these things go back together correctly because that's what keeps our birds nice and safe. So we've got the, the bird doll at the back of the hen house that needs to be in the locked position. In the cube, you've got to put all the bits back together. And in the cap, it's our good old Please let me know. Okay.